while I want you to stay Amazing cold as eyes, but my heart still beats So we just got back from the park. Today was such a lovely day. The weather was fantastic and it was so extremely hot. So we decided to go to the park and Sophie had such a lovely time. Now she's watching a bit of Peppa Pig because uh, uh, she had a bit of a tantrum. Anyway, like um, today I want to show you one of the four uh, meals, uh, family meals that uh, I'm going to share with you. Uh, this one is extremely easy to prepare. It's something that you don't have to be bothered a lot because uh, you just need a celery, uh, some garlic. I prefer to use the fresh garlic because uh, um, I don't know. I think that using a fresh garlic is better because it's a natural antibacterial. But what I'm doing is to use both the fresh one and the powder, garlic powder from uh, Tesco because it is so nice. It's really powerful. Then I use a, a carrot, uh, a brown onion, or maybe two. It depends from the size of them. And uh, nothing. I, we need mince. Usually I use the 5% uh, mince. I will show you later. And uh, tomato passata that's all we're gonna prepare our, our bolognese without wine so it's really um, it's suitable for everyone and Sophie really likes it I'm gonna show you her later probably eat that because she really, really like it and usually we use uh, to put on the top of it cheddar mixed with parmesan so we are both happy and it's extremely good with both cheese on the top of it and it's something that it's easy to prepare uh, it doesn't require a lot of effort because once prepared all the ingredient and uh, you put the meat inside uh, the pan everything is done basically you have to wait and what else nothing we are gonna try to prepare it together so let's go so i start with the ingredients for our bolognese first of all we have some extra virgin olive oil from tesco this one was an offer so i've decided to pick this up this time then we have some salt some black pepper a garlic then here this um, the seasoning mix that i was uh, mentioning a lot of times these are from tesco and they're just as amazing as the branded one in this case we have the garlic granules and also this italian seasoning mix and as you can see we've used this a lot for the sauce we have these chopped tomatoes uh, by the brand napolina this tomato passata which i've already used for sophie but i'm gonna finish it for our uh, pas pasta then we have uh, these steak mince five percent fat we used to have uh, one with ten percent or a higher percentage of fat but we decided to go for something healthier then we have one onion, some rosemary from the garden, one carrot, a celery, uh, some pasta. And this is all we need for our pasta. I'm going to put in the blender uh, the celery, carrot, uh, onion, uh, rosemary and also like uh, two or three uh, bits of garlic. So that uh, it's going to be easier to prepare it as I always do. sauce for Aaron, that one for Sophie, we're gonna add some uh, parmesan, some cheddar, we don't have the grated one, neither the, the big one, the chunk of, parm of cheddar, but like it's okay, even if there's slices, they're going on top and they're gonna melt on the pasta, so we're gonna add it and I'll show you Sophie eating it because she's so funny when she's eating it. As you can see, 
we're having a bit of uh, renovation in the kitchen so let's pretend that everything is okay <laughs> and we, we went to Ikea so we've done a little bit of uh, work and uh, it's gonna prepare also uh, dinner for tonight and we're gonna have uh, fajita uh, so here we have uh, we just realized that we don't have uh, kidney beans so we're not gonna use them uh, we're gonna use some chopped tomatoes some rice, the basmati is one that I already show you because it's quicker and easier. We have some seasoning mix left from the other package. Some fajita wrap kit. This one is the, I think it's the one from Lidl, I don't remember. And we have some sliced peppers. And we have also the um, beef strips in the microwave because they were frozen. So Aaron is going to prepare the dinner tonight. So we're going to garlic, beef, olive oil, salt and pepper. Oh, of course. What are you going to do now? Chopped tomatoes. Okay. Too much. Adding a bit of... This is jalapeno Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Just for the flavour. Regular Tabasco. Okay. Just for the spice. Our fajita with rice. And then we put our sauce. Yummy. And cheese. <laughs> Don't worry, I like cheese one. <laughs> Good evening! So for tonight we're gonna have uh, pasta with uh, fresh salmon and in this case uh, it's a simple recipe, uh, really nice, fresh and easy to prepare. So I have all the ingredients uh, over there, I will show you and uh, we can start to prepare it together. I'll quickly show you the ingredients which are salmon, pepper, I use this one which is the white one, salt, Parsley, I have this frozen one, I have to stock other from uh, the market in town. Then we have uh, this one, which is the Panna Cremosa Homogenea. Uh, it's an Italian panna and it's easily, um, I find it easily in our little market in town. So I will definitely recommend it because it makes everything really, really tasty. Of course, we need also some oil. I use this one, which is the extra virgin oil, some penne or pasta in general, which one you prefer, and then uh, a little bit of garlic. So these are the ingredients uh, and we start to prepare it. So pasta is ready and also garlic bread, so bon appetito! Good evening, so for tonight we're gonna have chili con carne, it's a recipe that uh, I uh, usually follow from Tesco blog, I was trying to remember, sorry I'm really tired today, <laughs> it was a tough day, and I hope that you can tell the difference with the lights because we just installed these which is the IKEA light, so I think it's really nice. Uh, we are still making changes in the kitchen, so there is a bit of confusion, sorry for that. Uh, anyway, I will show you the ingredients for preparing the chili. Uh, I know that a lot of people like it. Uh, mine is really simple and basic. Um, and for Sophie, uh, she's gonna have, instead of something meaty, she's gonna have fish fingers, uh, courgette with a simple uh, tomato sauce, and a lot of cheddar because she likes it, and later she's gonna Gonna have some uh, fruits like oranges. Uh, lately, she's uh, loving oranges and clementines uh, and uh, bananas. Uh, she always loved them. She's obsessed with bananas. Uh, and nothing. I will show you the ingredients to prepare uh, our chili and uh, let's prepare it together. So for the ingredients you need some sliced mixed peppers, I really love these from Tesco because they're already sliced, uh, easy to prepare uh, every kind of recipe, so I really recommend it. Then we have some red kidney beans, some chopped tomatoes, some tomato puree, the basmati rice, the already the microwaveable one because it's really easy to prepare guys. Then we have cheddar of course, some garlic, oil, pepper, then we have the spices from Lidl, the chili flakes, this hot paprika that we love, uh, salt, 
fresh uh, chili this one uh, I've probably like uh, I don't remember when from our market uh, and it's amazing because it's really really spicy uh, cumin from Tesco I already mixed the onions I mixed two onions but you can only just use one to be honest we really like onions so I used two and then some garlic puree let's start by uh, frying some onion some garlic and adding also the mixed peppers until they get a bit blondy brownish of course not burn but you know what I mean so let's do that Here we are with our chili con carne. I added some uh, um, chili flakes, the green ones, and at the end I've added some uh, Tabasco, the green one. And I recommend you, if in case you want to buy it, uh, to buy in Lidl because if you buy two of them, they're two pounds, whereas in our supermarkets are more expensive. So, bon appetit! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,